Campbell County toppled Fulton last Friday thanks in part to one Cougar scoring 36 of their 46 points. Casey K catches up with Gavin Owens, our Week 2 Friday Frenzy Player of the Week. All right, Gavin, 20 carries, 197 yards, but the most impressive stat for you, six touchdowns last Friday, a new school record for Campbell County, knowing that you're going to be cemented in school history now. What does that mean to you? I mean, I just want to give all glory to God. I mean, he literally let me do this sport that I love. It's just an outstanding opportunity. I mean, my line helped a whole bunch and just it was really a team, a team accomplishment. Six is a lot in one game. Did you ever think that you were going to be able to score that many in a single contest? Uh, no, not really. This, uh, this was actually my first varsity touchdown in my whole career. So well, you really went off after yeah. after one. You decided to tack on five more. Pretty high standard. How do you plan to build on that? I mean, just keep working. I mean, it's just one. So I mean, I got to get more. There's no stopping now. Just keep going. Really. Take me back to that first one that you scored on Friday night. Even more pivotal now knowing that it was your first one ever in a varsity uniform. What was going through your mind? I can't believe I scored, really. It was just, it was amazing. My teammates were all surrounding me. Like, you just, it was just amazing. What did Coach say to you at the end of the game? Uh, he told me, good job. I run hard. But, I mean, that uh, there's still next week. There's no, I got to keep going. After six times, did you ever get tired of crossing the end zone? No, not really. I, I was kind of hoping for a seventh at the end, but... <laughs> It, it really never gets old. Congratulations, Gavin. You are a week two Friday frenzy player of the week. Gonna give you that. Guys, let's show them some love. Yeah. That one was great. That was a new one. They lifted him up and Casey bailed out. But anyway, Gavin Owens will look to put up some even bigger numbers if that's even possible on Friday against the Kings Academy.